In this video, we're going to learn about creating topics in Google Classroom and organizing the materials we save in the Classwork tab for student use. So to begin, when you're in your Google Classroom, you're going to go to the Classwork tab. Once you arrive in the Classwork tab, um, you'll notice I already have some topics and work that's been loaded into this classroom. Um, yours, you may not have anything yet, and that's all right. We're going to create some things. So you're going to first go to the Create button. Click the Create button, and you'll see your normal list of things that you can create in Classwork. So assignments, quizzes, questions, material, you can reuse a post. But what we want to look at is the very last selection, which is Topic. So you'll click Topic and this little pop-up will appear for you for you to add the topic. You're going to type in what you want your topic to be called. For this one, I'm just going to put test topic. Once you've named this what you would like, which by the way, it isn't final. You can at any point rename your topic if you need to, but for now, we're gonna leave it as test topic. Then we'll click add. And then if we go all the way to the bottom, we'll see that it has added the test topic for us. Now, something important to remember about creating topics is just because you create a topic, that does not mean that students will see it. As you'll see up here, these topics that had already been created, there's a little message that says students can only see topics with published posts. So that means when you create topics, if you do not have any work or posts underneath that topic, your students in your Google Classroom will not see that particular topic until you have posted something under it. Now, all of these topics here, you'll notice they have work or posts, which means students can see these. Now at any point, I'm gonna go back to my test topic. Let's say I want to reorganize. I can click and drag this topic anywhere I would like. And if I were, for instance, to click and drag a topic that already has work, it will take the work with it as well. And I can do that as much as I choose. Now, if I need to delete the topic for any reason, I can come right here to those three dots. I can rename, I can delete, or I can copy the link to this topic. I'm gonna go ahead and delete. I'll have to confirm. And then that topic is gone. Now, this can make it depending on how many topics you have and how much work you have in topics, or as some people like to refer to these as modules, it can make the classwork feed become a little long. So if you're looking for something specific and you already know what topic it's in, you can come over here to the left and search through your materials in a more filtered way. This is really helpful for students. If they're looking for a particular writing assignment, for instance, they could click on writing and see all of the writing assignments that were provided. If they were looking for, let's say, just some resources that I've provided, they could look here for some resources that are present in the classroom tab. That's how you create and organize with topics in Google Classroom.